channel or if you not like and subscribe the channel please like and sus subscribe the channel this is the ch place where you can learn microsoft intune and you become a champion okay so today in this video i am going to say you how actually you can uh, how you can publish the applications for ios devices uh, and how you can up assign to your devices some of the actually people want, uh, wanted to understand or contacted me that uh, I apply my applications to the devices but it's always says pending or fail. So how we can do that? So this is Microsoft Intune portal as you already know. I have already made video on this but again I am making because of um, this because of this, uh, somebody, uh, many people ask uh, why the devices are always showing in the pending, uh, why the applications are showing in pending, and why the required application is not visible, and why it's so complex to remove the applications. So I am going to show you on iOS devices. Similarly, you can apply for Android and Windows operating system. So here, if you go to the apps, because we are talking about the apps, and you can click on iOS apps, you click on add, and you see iOS store applications, and the web application, so I'm clicking on iOS store application, you have to search, okay, here. So it, it will open, but I'm selecting this one, uh, web click applications, oh sorry, as a store application i don't want to uh, search i will just select it here now you can search on app store and you can search outlook for example i'm just showing outlook okay you can select your country if you want i'm just selecting outlook okay select and all these are coming from outlook you can uh, select minimum operating system depend on your requirement you want to ipad ipod category you can select the productivity or anything whatever you want to show these applications in the company portal or no you can select it you want to fill all these information if you want it's not mandatory right so only these the star one it's mandatory click on next and here you can see the required available for the enrolled devices available with or in enrollment and the uninstall so and and so you see the required means what the required applications when you put any you groups or users or you apply to all devices then it will be required and it will not visible in in your company portal store so required application will forcefully push the application to your devices and as soon as the user reboot the device or disconnect from the internet and connect again it will get keep prompting until you install that because that's why it's a mandatory application so your organization has decided that this application has to be required and it has to be installed on your phone so it will keep prompting so suppose if you have any groups created right you want to if you have any groups created it will show here you can search it here right or if you want to assign to all users and all devices I would recommend to assign to all devices if it's required applications why I will tell you in the reasons because if in case if you want to uh, remove these applications if it's required because user will not able to delete this application if it's required I mean you can't press I mean you can't hold on the application and just uninstall this application on iOS or even on Android because it's a required applications so and if you assign to the users devices then you won't be able to uninstall these applications from Intune because user you have blocked the users user will get the error while removing the, the applications so being as admin you have to remove this application so if you assign to the users or users groups dynamic or static then you won't be able to remove so I would recommend you please assign to the device groups whether it's a dynamic or static or to all devices based on the requirement if you click on this one if you want to apply the filter you want to apply some settings like 
uninstall on device removal of course if you want to remove if you want to use it and you see the mode include and exclude you want to install as a removal even if it's yes they won't be able to remove it prevent application backup yes click on okay you see here i'm not using filter or filter mode if you want you can include the filter and then uh, and then here you can click on next and publish it okay now let's come to the ab available available for enrolled devices so available for enrolled devices it's always recommended and you can see here you can't assign these applications to the devices right under the available for required you see the three options was there let me delete this you see the three options you can assign to the all devices all users all groups but here you can only assign to the users groups or all users right not to the devices why because it's available i mean if user has the multiple devices they can see these applications in the company portal and they can download it because it's on demand applications it will not force push available with or without enrollment what is this available so if it's up uh, if it, it will be available with enrollment so if the devices is fully mdm or it's a mem uh, the byd devices which is actually unmanaged devices it will be available as soon as the byd users or mem unmanaged devices but they have the company portal right so uh, they can sign into the company portal and they can download the these applications so it will be available for them right so this is actually a nice uh, feature which is actually is missing in other mdm solution and you see here because the for byd because it's available right so available it can be only available as a on demand whether it's fully mdm or it's unmanaged mam so that's why you can only see you can assign to all users or only to the groups okay uh, click on till it and now uninstall so now here is a trick some people are asking why applications are not uh, removing from the devices and you see here you can apply to groups users and all devices but here is a actually trick and and you have to understand here how actually uninstallation work so if you have applied to all users here or to the users groups static or dynamic and then if you add here also so if you added here all users you see uh, all users have been disabled so if you add the users groups here even the the dynamic or static it won't uninstall it won't uninstall this application be because you have targeted the users so that's why i i mentioned better to assign to the device groups and then you can add the groups here i mean selected groups or, or the use all groups you want to remove then it will get uninstalled so never uh, never assign devices groups i mean never assign the users groups as a required applications i mean they should not give options i don't know why but it should only give the you can assign to the dynamic device groups or static device groups or all devices group so that you will able to remove this uh, applications if in case if you want because in the device pane you want uninstall this application so this is how actually uninstallation will work and this is most tricky some people are saying i have i want to remove this application from the user devices if it's a required application you won't be able to do but if it's available and it's assigned to all users then you can remove it then you can remove uh, then you can select the groups so you have assigned uh, you have assigned this applications as a available on demand to all users and want to remove for some users or group of users you can add the groups and it will work the user you will able to uninstall or remove those applications from the devices so this is how actually it works so for available with enrollment without enrollment enroll assign to the users and if it's required assign to the device groups right try and see how it's work till then thank you have a good day